We are on, are we? Okay. Really? <laughs> okay. Today is one of the happiest days of my life because I'm here with Anton Parrish, the god of cable television, here in the house of the god Peter Allen. Hello, Peter. Hello, Scooter. Well, listen, this is um, a very important time that we're having this interview here because tomorrow night, it's a first in, another first in history. Peter Allen will be at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in the auditorium. Isn't that right, Pete? That's right. That's right. Okay. Beautiful Grace Randy Rogers Auditorium. That's right. And um, Peter will be performing there, right? One man show, doll? One man, One -man show. And we want everyone to come because it's just going to be one of the biggest things Ron Delsner is producing it. And for all of you people who don't have your tickets yet, Ron Delsner is out of them because it was a sellout already at his office. They were running up the stairs like maniacs getting the tickets. But you can get them at Ticketron because Ticketron's a computer and it's a little slow. So they still have tickets and also the night of performance, is that right? I just come right there, I think. Come right to the but door. I, I don't know how to get in, but I guess everyone will know. Well, our friend Janice will be at the door. You ask for Janice box. if you have any trouble getting tickets, okay? The box office opens at 5. Box office opens at 5, Janice said. Okay. Um, okay, well, we're going to um, ask Peter a few questions about your life, if you don't mind. <laughs> Okay, where were you born, doll? Darling, I was born in Australia. Yeah? Australia. In the backwoods. In the backwoods, doll? Back all by yourself or with a little help? I don't remember. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's all right. Um, and your birthday is? February 10th. How tall are you? 5'11". Oh, you are? Five, 10 and 3 quarters. Ooh, that's a nice <laughs> height. <laughs> That's just wonderful, doll. Wow. <laughs> um, and uh, for all you people who are not in color TV land tonight, what color are your eyes, doll? I don't know. What color are they? They are blue. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, as a child, do you remember the first time that you had a gravitation toward the, um, you know, the music and all that? Towards the music in Australia. Yeah, I played the piano in pubs hmm. for the shearers after they came in from shearing the sheep. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Did they like it like we like it? Yeah, they would get drunk and give me five pounds. Oh, wow. Was that a lot of money in those days? It's still a lot of money. It is still a lot of money? Oh, my. Okay, then we're... I'm getting to the museum, I think. Oh, well, we'll all have to chip in, won't we, kids? You can <laughs> send your donation to me, and I'll forward it, okay? I'll give you my address later. And listen, I'm also president of the Peter Allen Fan Club, and we want more members than anything. We have so yeah. many already, but we yeah. want more, because we're going to do a big number with the record company soon, aren't we, doll? Yes. Yeah. And, um... I'm president, and you can you can send in your little you name. You can all be vice presidents and secretaries and treasurers and recording secretaries and all those great oh, things. You need so many people. You need really so many to take care None of a god in the right way. This, must, this one's vitality and loyalty. Though. That is right. But listen, this girl um, has had the same meal for the last three months: chicken and yellow rice. That's right. At I'd like to see the day auto, and you can we can all street and Broadway. Right, we can all there last night. We can all join there for oh, a Peter Allen party. Oh, is the hat falling off? Well, you see, I I I'm, I'm so into this, I didn't even notice that my hat was falling off. But anyway, this is Peter's hat, and he just gave it to me five seconds before the interview. This right, very hat. This very hat. This is the beat-off picture of the year, folks. Look at this. This is the picture. Don't you wish that you had this picture in your very home? I just can't stop looking at it or touching it. This one here, and um, yes, but you'd be so well, perfect he makes for clothes. Anyone look good. But darling, you oh. look. <laughs> yes, this is a signed, a signed record to me. But I mean, this was. Uh... Four, four years ago. Oh, really? Well, doll, your hair looks good at any length, and I'm sure you're the it's same wonderful. inside. It really <laughs> <laughs> It's the inside that counts anyway. That is right. And if, if some stuff should pour out once in a while from the inside, we'll all know it's good stuff, right? Yes, I think so. <laughs> just, say, just say yes, doll, yes, and everything yes. will be okay. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, do, you, do you do any other, um, are you uh, adventurous in any other things like, uh, you know, I know you're a great dancer. Oh, God. Oof. Dancing is one of Peter's. Dancing is my life. Yes. Is it really along with yeah. the thing? Because when Peter does um, his shtick, you know, <laughs> he does everything so well. Oh, my goodness. Well, you'll all see. But um, anyway, uh, so do you love to dance, like, uh, for, for fun, like, you know, at night and stuff when you're not... Where do you dance? Do you just dance in front of your mirror? Well, 
Yeah, see, I'm safest there, actually. But sometimes I go out with my girlfriends, we go dancing. I find it very hard for, to get boys to dance with me. They just like to, to watch us girls dance. Dance with each other. Yeah, well, they dance with each other, too. But, you know, what happened between the time you were a little tot and before you really started hitting the big time? Oh, uh, what happened? Yeah. Today I hit the big time right away, but unfortunately it was in Australia. Well, yeah. How big is big time in Australia? That's right. How can only be as big, big as the country can be. That's true. That's right. A when, big country, but not too many people. That's right. When did you burst out of all that? I didn't burst out till uh, I was... Well, I burst out at lo a lot of little times. Uh -huh. I burst out in Australia, then I burst out in the Orient, uh -huh. then I burst it out in England, then I burst out in New York, mm. and um, I just, I'm still bursting. I know, doll. Um, and you too will burst when you see Peter tomorrow night. But anyway, um, okay, now, um, at what age did you really start to get involved with the whole Judy Garland and Liza Minnelli scene? That was when I was in Hong Kong, when Judy Garland was there and I was playing at the Hilton. Hmm. That was the highlight of the Orient, the Hong Kong Hilton. And were you her opening act? Is that how uh, you got no, involved? No, she, she came to see us in the nightclub at the Hilton. She loved us and said we had to come to England with her. And you were with Chris Allen at the time. Yes, partner, yeah. Right, not his brother, but his partner. A partner. Right. And she said you had to come to England? She had, we had to come to England to be her opening act. Ooh, that must have been great. You know, did you, did you love Judy from the start? Yeah, we got on real good. We were pals. Mm -hmm. And then we took a boat trip together. Oh, really? And yeah, because we were going from Hong Kong to Japan on a boat. So she said, well, I've got nothing to do. So she came on the boat, too. Oh, my. That and was fun. Yes, and how old was Liza when you first met her? 18. 18, just a baby, younger than baby. me, even. Really? Oh, my. Well, <laughs> <clears throat> and at what point in Liza's career was she at when you met her? She was just about to do uh, her first Broadway show. Oh, really? So then you did meet her when she was right at the beginning. Well, I'm sure you helped form her a little, don't you think? Oh, probably. I'm responsible for everything. Yeah. That's what I thought, too. I just wanted to clear things her up. Her success is due to me. That's what I thought, but I just wanted to hear it right from you. <laughs> anyway, well, uh, now your success is far beaten anyone, so... <laughs> yes, indeed. So, um, the, and there's a couple of newies coming out, too, right? I have a promotion copy, but when is the actual single going to be out in the record store so everyone can, can go get it? She loves to hear the music. Yeah, she loves That's to hear the music. That's out this week. This week? Did you hear that? This is such perfect timing. Perfect. And uh, maybe if we're lucky, Peter will uh, uh, sort of do us a um, personal number on it later, a little bit later in the show, maybe? Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Okay, if we're all good, you got to promise to be good, right? Okay, now, um, okay, so after um, the whole uh, Liza Minnelli thing, um, uh, you moved back to New York. Were you in California at this time? No, I stayed in New York for 10 years. Right. And then you were out in California for then a while. Then I moved to California. Mm -hmm. Then I got... Uh, then I came back to do Rena Sweeney, mm -hmm. and Rena Sweeney cropped up, and everyone Kept started singing my too. songs. So right. we just came back to Rena Sweeney. Is that hair? Isn't that? <laughs> Yes, it gets so out of hand on hot and humid days, but... Really? It's lighting. It's <laughs> well, lighting. well, you know how it is, V, darling, you know, and you get to be really big, and you have to put up with a few little inconveniences. Yeah. My makeup from AM New York is running. That's I right. left it on just in case, you see. It's beautiful, doll. Anything looks beautiful <laughs> on your skin. It really does. Isn't that perfect skin? That's right. It is perfect skin. Everything else is perfect, too. I've seen it all, and it's perfect. <laughs> 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 okay, folks. So now, Peter, what are the plans of the future? Everyone wants to know. The future? Uh -huh. Well, I can reveal them to you. Okay. I'm going back to the Orient and Australia. Oh. Oh, and you're going to see Mummy there? What am I going to do? Your mummy? Oh, my mummy in Australia, yes. If she's watching this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cave her a special little... <laughs> uh, your mother isn't watching. No, my mother hasn't seen anything I've done. <laughs> As a matter of fact, she thinks I'm just a, a fashion designer in some dumb company. No, this is not true, folks. <laughs> this is not true <laughs> at all. I only do that as my straight job, but this is my real love. Um, oh, yes, I wanted to ask you also about the other people. I know a lot of people have asked this, but other people that have recorded your your songs and stuff, because Peter is just the most fabulous composer in, uh, in addition to being a performer, right? You compose it first. Would you say that, or do you have a preference? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, because you, you're just great at that, really, like, every song is just too much. And, you know. They mainly the ones who, that's 
many of the ones who bring the money. Right, that's you know. true. That's right. A lot of people don't know that, but that is true. And a, a good song can be sung by a lot of people and still sound good. Isn't that right, Doc? That's true. That's and true. keep you for years. That's right, all. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so, do you um, have any control of that? Do you designate who is to sing your songs? Do they ask you for permission? No, or? what I do is I try to make a demo record how I would like it to sound, mm -hmm. just with me at the piano or maybe with a group, and then I, I want it to sound like I want it to sound, and then uh, if, if someone picks it up, I just have to mm -hmm. hope that they'll do it as close to the original as possible. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Um, I, I hear that I Honestly Love You was recorded by 40 different people, is that right? 40 different people. Wow, we in, in a short period of time? Yeah, yeah, over the past year. Mm -hmm. Everyone from um, yeah, R&B to the shit kickers. Oh, mm. right. Well, everyone likes to, to, you know, make something for themselves that somebody else's maker. But, doll, you do it the best. It's the second song on side two on Continental American. I know the order backwards and forwards. <laughs> forwards and backwards. <laughs> and on the flip side of this is, is also uh, the flip side of the record, just for artistic information. So, um, did you ever have your portrait done by anyone? Yeah, this is... Paul Jasmine did this oh, one. Oh, right. Yes, indeed. Do you have the original on that, or, or was yeah. it a gift? Um, no, it's, it's in somewhere. There somewhere. Yeah, it's mm. on the wall somewhere. Mm. So, um, any really uh, big moves, like now or what? No. We're, we're always curious about the future, aren't we? Aren't we? Yes. Don't you wish I you could know. see into the future a little? Yeah, Just I'm real happy now, um, you know? Yes, I know. And I don't know uh, what else I'd be, I, I can think of doing. I have to go. Well, it's going to take two months to go to Australia. And the Orient and New Zealand, mm -hmm. and then I think I'm going to stop in Tahiti on the way back. Mm -hmm. And um, that'll t that'll be two months. Before that, oh, on Friday actually, right after the museum, I leave for two weeks of state fairs in the Midwest. State fairs. See though. America first. Really? Yeah. What kind? Of, what will you be doing at the state fairs? Stepping in cow shit, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I've never been to a state fair. <laughs> You know, you've never been well. I, I've been, and uh, you will definitely be the main attraction there, along with the lobster lady. You know, the lady they <laughs> she they've grafted some lobster claws onto her hands. She had to stump up her old fingers to make her look like she was born like that. But doll, you'll Sounds you'll bad. definitely be the main attraction. Sideshow alley. Yeah, you almost. could go eat her afterwards. <laughs> Dip her in the hot water. She could hold on to your good idea. She sure must have a big grip. <laughs> oh well. I wonder if lobster people are meat eaters. What do you think, Doc? Honey, I, mean, I don't know. Really? That's a question, though, isn't it? Because, you know, meat eaters eat You see certainly are. I am, that's true. <laughs> Chicken and yellow rice. Chicken and, and red beans, yes, indeed. Well, Doll will have to cater your next big thing at Lots of Seats at Day Auto. Wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> that sure would. <laughs> All those limousines on 100th, 100th Street and Broadway. It sure would. You know, Peter was howling like crazy last night as he was eating his chicken leg, weren't you, Very doll? good, very good. He was howling. And then he came home. <laughs> and then he came home uh, to my house, rather, and I came home. And um, we uh, tempted the little pussycat with a little bit. You know, the pussy cow was just going crazy over you. Really? Yes, and he told me so afterwards, too. He couldn't stop touching himself. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, actually, it was just the smell of chicken on your fingers, doll. Probably. <laughs> that, was, that was the truth. It was bad, wasn't it? <laughs> the doll was really digging into it, and, and he shared it with everyone at the table, everyone. too. Just everyone, yes. So generous. That's right. Um, but anyway, doll, so tell Tell, tell us what your favorite um, food is. What is my favorite food? Well, I don't know. I have been clamming a lot lately. You know, really? I go into the bay and dig around with my toes and get my own food. They, I think that man should be self-sufficient. Really? Do they bite yeah. you first? No, scallops you have to be careful of because really? they snap under your toes. Do they? How come they're so square when they're in the fish market and they're they're much <laughs> bigger? When, <laughs> they're much, I, I didn't think anything was born that square. They're like really square. Uh, tell us what a scallop looks like for all of us. Well, it goes like this. Does and it's, it really? you know, it's like the shape of a shell. And then when you take How it, many scallops per shell? One scallop per shell. One scallop? And, and, then you, and those little things you see in the fish market, it's just the muscle. And that's how it moves. It squirts itself along and you have to take off its little you have to put the knife under and take off its little sweater. Oh. Then you left for that. <laughs> it's raincoat, you mean, doll? It's raincoat, right? Yeah. yeah, raincoats do come in handy when when we don't want things to get out. Do, and is that right? The muscles doll? to get the out. Muscles to get out, right? <laughs> 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 I 
anyway, uh, so from seafood we go to. Well, see, I heard all that you were a vegetarian. I said, Jesus Christ, nobody that dances like that can eat just vegetables. You have to. <laughs> you have to have... When I'm working, I hit the meat a little bit. Do you bit. really? Ooh, you'll hit your meat too, folks. Okay. <laughs> um, well, see, I'm always curious about people's diets. Oh, you want to get up in the piano? No, no. <laughs> No. I'll just lay in here for a while. Okay, well, this, this, this is a very interesting interview, don't you think, Doll? I think you've been fabulous at interviews. Doll, but you've been fabulous. I mean, you know, what would it be without you? That's true. That's true. You know, you can turn yourself on, but when you can turn someone else on, too, it's that's really... That's living. That's living, that's, that's right. Living so, Doll, tell us what your favorite color is, you know, for, for fan club information. Fan club information. My favorite color. Favorite color. Favorite color. Green, but you don't like green, do you? Well, I don't like to ingest green, but it's very pleasing to the eyes <laughs> I yeah. must admit I can't walk on it very good but it's supposed to be the most pleasing color to the eye yeah that that's true? probably why I like it yeah well, I like all colors that's true doll tell us about this little thing you were talking about on the radio last night about how they rate if a record is going to be a big hit or not well they wire people up when put things on there and see if they sweat and see if their heart jumps when they hit the chorus and everything, and that's how they find out what record they're going to release. Really? Is it true that if they don't get a good response, they, the record company won't release the record? Yeah, lots of times they won't. Is that really true? They really go by that? Mm -hmm. They wire you up and oh, dog you up. And... What, is the, what is the rate of heartbeat and other pulsations when they hear you on the record? God only knows. That's right. Well, you're God. Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Because um, I, cause I know what I like when I'm... industry. Yeah. It's a mystery to me. Really? Because, well, when I sit at the table in Reno Sweeney, I hear all the thighs slapping and the knees going and everything. All, all the flesh is just, just going a mile a minute when you're performing. And I, you know, if people don't do that everywhere, I don't know. I was just wondering, you know. No? Well... Anyway, <laughs> um, so on the upcoming album, is it um, when will the whole album be released? A lot of people album. like to buy whole albums. Yes, yeah, so I'll finish the whole album when I get back from the Orient in mm -hmm. November, December. Mm -hmm. So it'll be out for Christmas. Oh, that's and right. Christmas comes so fast, doesn't it? It sure you know? comes fast and it goes fast, but that's all right. It comes often enough, right? So yes. just like your birthday, <laughs> once a year. <laughs> Um, so listen, we, I really think that we should get a, a bigger following for the fan club, don't you think, doll? I mean, people people have sort of you gotten out time. of it. I have uh, any time for you, doll. You are first on my list. <laughs> first and only, I am truthful to no other star. Sometimes I see Genevieve, but that's because, you know, a woman needs a woman sometimes. But it's all right. But this is the number one doll. And, uh, you don't all, go out to see other people? No one, doll. No one. And I swear to God, no one. You wow. can ask that. That is right. And I, I don't even listen to that. People try to intrude on my turntable, other records. But, uh-uh. No way, doll. <laughs> no way. I think I'm going to get some cement and just glue down all your records on all my turntables. <laughs> so, so no one will be able to do anything. That sounds like yes, you know, idea. and Peter gave me his little promotion copy uh, of his 45, and I didn't have that little disc that fits on this spindle, you know. Well, you the spindle, no, I didn't have a little disc, and I said, gee, how am I going to play this? Well, my record player just adapted so well, I pressed it down, and I played the record 25 times, and you know, it's there forever now, folks. <laughs> Can't get the thing up for anything. Stuck to the turntable. Melted right onto the Melted rubber. Melted right onto the rubber doll. <laughs> the rubber melted back, and oh, it was just what not going on there. <laughs> and the mirrors were shattering, and the glass was breaking, and, mm. <laughs> and my neighbors were looking, and the couple in the next kitchen. Oh my! Mm. <laughs> but anyway, so doll, uh, you have. Tell me what you're wearing tomorrow night. What I'm wearing, doll? Should I get a surprise? Well, I don't think people will be so surprised because I used to really go out in full regalia all the time, like yeah. from junior high on up. But I kind of calmed down, um, you know, when I was in college I can and see stuff. That. That's true. That's right. You know, a girl has to be proper time in a That's proper true. place. There's a place for everything. <laughs> That's right. And doll, you should shine more than anyone tomorrow night, even though you're going to be on stage and everyone is going to be in the audience. But you should still shine. That's but. It's, that's true, but but you will, and um, I'll just come, you know, I don't know yet, I have to whip up something tonight, in will fact. Will you be sewing up all night tonight? Sewing? Oh, no, it doesn't take me all night to sew. I'm very fast with what I do. In and out, in and out, that's it, right? Stitching time saves nine. That's right, and all those other good things. 
<laughs> Actually, I'd like to staple my clothes together. I think it's much better idea than thread. <laughs> what yeah, do you think about that, that's doll? That's true. But doll. Holland? Oh yes, doll. My penis skirt. That sounds very pretty. It you was very that. pretty. I could wear that too, but it's red, you know. And I, I sort of wanted to keep in the colors that you're going to be in, and the oh, colors of this yeah. TV show. But red is a little brash, I think, for night, you know. Then, yeah. But um, I will come appropriate, and I'm sure you will see me in the audience. I'll be yelling and screaming my usual, because I just can't control myself. And um, right, sure. yes, and I spoke to someone on the phone last night, and uh, such a barrage of people are coming like they've never came before, doll. <laughs> they all tell me that. They never come like they do when they see you. <laughs> Is that true, Doc? <laughs> well, I could give a little argument, but uh, really, do people? Is there anyone that doesn't like you, Doc? I mean, oh, like no, when no. you do well, you ever get? I don't know. I mean, like I probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are quite a few. Really? Well, I never heard anyone, <laughs> and if it doesn't reach my ears, well, hmm. well, yeah. it must not be true. That's right. That's right. The doll has a beautiful living room here, don't you, with Isn't angels it? on the ceiling? Um. I would like to show something to all you fans who might not get a chance to see it. Yes, this is Peter Allen's latest album, not the upcoming, but the latest that's in, produ in um, circulation. <laughs> and it's um, a little thing here from honoring Peter in his album. It's uh, hand embroidered by Scooter. Yours truly. Yours truly. <laughs> and uh, as you see, it has all the components of a record player except the turntable. <laughs> And it serves as a piece of furniture. You can even lay on it if you like. Oh, the hat. A&M. Uh, A&M, &M, that's right. And yes, Peter had, um, <laughs> Peter had a couple of albums on Metro Media, didn't you, Peter, before you had this on A&M? Yeah. But none of them had your distinctive touch. Oh, really, doll? <laughs> well, there's more to come where that came from. <laughs> the, the, well, the well is never dry when I'm around you, doll. And neither is my furniture. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's get on with this. If that's right. When I saw Peter Kids, you thought Mick Jagger was big. Well, wait till you see this one. <laughs> okay. So, um, the, and there's a couple of newies coming out too, right? I have a promotion copy, but when is the actual single going to be out in the record store so everyone can, can go get it? She loves to hear the music. Yeah, she loves to That's hear the music. out this week. This week? Did you hear that? This is such perfect timing. Perfect. And uh, maybe if we're lucky, Peter will uh, uh, sort of do us a um, personal number on it later, a little bit later in the show, maybe? Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Okay, if we're all good, you got to promise to be good, right? Okay, now, um, okay, so after um, the whole uh, Liza Minnelli thing, um, uh, you moved back to New York. Were you in California at this time? No, I stayed in New York for 10 years. Right, and then you were out in California for then a while. Then I moved to California. Mm -hmm. Then I got... Uh, then I came back to do Rena Sweeney, mm. and Rena Sweeney cropped up, and everyone Kept started singing my too. songs. So right. we just came back to Rena Sweeney. Is that hair? Isn't that? <laughs> Yes, who gets out of hand on hot and humid days, but... Really? It's lighting. It's <laughs> well, lighting. well, you know how it is, Pete, darling, you know, and you get to be really big, and you have to put up with a few little inconveniences. Yeah. My makeup from AM New York is running. That's I right. left it on just in case, you see. It's beautiful, doll. Anything looks beautiful <laughs> on your skin. It really does. Isn't that perfect skin? That's right. It is perfect skin. Everything else is perfect, too. I've seen it all, and it's perfect. <laughs> 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 okay, folks. So now, Peter, what are the plans for the future? Everyone wants to know. The future. Uh huh. Well, I can reveal them to you. Okay. I'm going back to the Orient and Australia. Oh. Oh, and you're going to see Mummy there. What am I going to do? Your mummy. Oh, my mummy in Australia. Yes, if she's watching this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cave her a special little. <laughs> I hope your mother isn't watching. No, my mother hasn't seen anything I've done. <laughs> As a matter of fact, she thinks I'm just a, a fashion designer in some dumb company. No, this is not true, folks. <laughs> this is not true <laughs> at all. I only do that as my straight job, but this is my real love. Anyway, um, so um, yes, Peter's going to the Orient, but you'll be back for Rena Sweeney in November, December in New York. Here. In November, December, we'll come back to Rena Sweeney. Mm, folks, we must jam pack the house. It's a always jam. Return engagement. A return engagement is right. Um, so um, tomorrow night is uh, is it um, semi formal, formal, or uh, what do you think? What would you like well, to see when you look into I, the audience? What I like to see when I look into the audience is lots of lots of. Uh, 
something for me to look at. Lots of people dressed up. You mm -hmm. know, there's, there's so few places to dress up That's nowadays, true. isn't it? That That's yeah. true, and for so few people, too. Yeah. But the doll here is always very gala on stage. <laughs> Where is my scarf? Where is your scarf? Bring the scarf. Where is I was planning to be falling for this. Well, <laughs> it's coming. I see it coming. No, I pulled it's, it up and oh, took it out over there on the record player. Mm. Tudor made me a special scarf. Yes, I mind. did. And another special this treat, which will so be revealed. <laughs> Am I really? So tell, so tell the world how I'm clever with my hands, so Tudor. So look at this. <laughs> Isn't that stunning? Holston that would kill for this. He sure would kill for that. And you know what? It matches my shorts. Isn't that right? Isn't that a coincidence? <laughs> the shorts don't talk, but I, <laughs> I just thought I'd point it out. But anyway. <laughs> um, yes, did you he, create those shorts yourself? I sure did, my dear. Talented. I mold them right on. Could Barrett make shorts? Could Rhoda Barrett make shorts? I don't know about that. She yeah. makes something else this color, but I don't think she can make shorts. <laughs> But, um, yeah, <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> anyway, but Dar, I think that as a god, um, white is really, really your color. A touch white. of black is, is not too bad once in a while, but, but gods usually dress in white, isn't that That's true? That's true. That's true? That's true. This is black and white, but, but I have white on. That's right, he sure does. Uh, you want to um, show the whole outfit here? These pants also, scooters. Well... A gift from scooter, yes. <laughs> My wardrobe, I would have no wardrobe without your visits. Oh, really? Is that true? Oh, she paid for these from where she worked. <laughs> she paid for these pants where she worked. That's right, I paid for them. <laughs> uh, well, I go see a lot of these clothes around. The whole crew will have them soon. They're very special clothes, and you can't buy them anywhere. You'll have to get them if I drop them at your house. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, doll, would you do us the honor? Look, I would love to. Would you? Sure. Really and truly, honest to goodness? Sure. Okay. Um, Peter is going to do his latest and yes, most fascinating. I shall stand and, and, and hold. <laughs> Microphone, <laughs> my favorite shape. Okay, doll, make way for the doll. Let's put this down. Okay. Do you want to sit down? Oh! You have to hold the microphone. Oh, darling, yes, I will never. Should we do an edited version of the whole thing? The whole thing? She wants so much. She's just a secretary in a small recording firm. When it comes to music, there is nothing she can learn. Everything she lives and breathes is written on an album sleeve. And she can tell you who is hot and who will make it and who will not. Cause she loves to hear the music. She's got every lyric down. She loves to hear them say she's got the greatest is in town. She's there at every studio. There ain't a pop star she don't know. And Sometimes they take her home But she always wakes up alone This is a song about some girls that even Anton knows oh. <laughs> The men that want to marry her Can never satisfy The inner rhythms that she hears Are all that keep her high So they turn around and go Leave her by radio She didn't love the man anyway Not like she loves the man who played But she loves to hear the music Got every lyric down She loves to hear them sing She's got the greatest is in town She's there at every studio The first to come, the last to go Sometimes they take her home but she always wakes up alone. 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 Years will not be kind to her. The world is for the young. The bands that play so tightly knit will all become unstrung. And she'll be just another face. 
Out of time and out of place Till the songs revive again She come to life and tell you when Tell you when she loved to hear the music She had every lyric down She loved to hear them say She had the greatest ears in town She could have been somebody's wife But as a child heard Mac the knife And each time she took it home So she'll always wake up alone Cause she loves to hear the music She's got every lyric down And she loves to hear them say She's got the greatest days in town Don't you know what you love? Oh, God. That's the song. I dance every night in front of the mirror new to that song, I want you to know. We haven't become boring so far, so that's fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> I love Anton's show. Me too. It's the best show. That's why I bought cable TV for Anton's show. I don't watch any of the other junk on it, and it's junk. <laughs> <laughs> and Peter is going to do uh, probably the most famous song to date. Honestly, love you. Maybe I hang around here a little more than I should We both know I got somewhere else to go But I got something to tell you that I never thought I would But I believe you really ought to know I love you love you you don't have to answer I see it in your eyes maybe it was better left unsaid But this is pure and simple you must realize it's coming from my heart not my I love you I honestly love you I'm not trying to make you feel uncomfortable I'm not trying to make you anything at all It's just this feeling When you got the chance to say I love you I just be leaving it at this I love you I honestly love you
Is this on? Yeah. Hello, this is Mary Allen. I mean, Mary Hartman here in um, the dressing room of Peter Allen, the God. Hi, doll. Hi, hon. How are you? I'm fabulous. Mm -hmm. Well, we are just here. This is the God's return engagement at the bottom line. And oh, pitter patter, pitter patter. <laughs> okay, doll. You have the most fabulous album out ever, right? Taught by experts, doll. Yes, it is. You can do the interview tonight. You know, I just nod. Because I have to save my voice for the next show. Okay, well, I just want to know a few little itty bitty All things. Right, right, a few, a few. Um, can you tell me why uh, taught by experts, um, other than Judy, who are these experts? Well, <laughs> <laughs> who have we stolen from now? Let's think. Well, everyone that was here tonight. Oh, really? Yes. That's wonderful. Yes. <gasps> to draw on people like yes. It was a full house, wasn't it, doll? And so, semi celebrities and celebrities were here. Uh, who was here? Bette Midler was here. And uh, Madeline Kahn was here. And Karen so Bahari sweet. was here. And so sweet. So sweet is right. Goodness gracious. And, um, okay, doll. Yeah, <laughs> 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 you know, the question's here with a god. Um, um. Doll, do you really get on stage and give your whole life? I mean, is, is, is it really your whole life on stage? Well, it's, ha it's half a life each show. Re that's all? Well, I, mean, I had two shows a night. Half really? a life each show. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, Doll, what do you think, uh, how important is, like, audio to visual on your in your performance? Like, what is the percentage? What percentage is audio and what is visual? Right. <laughs> Some um, question, 50%, huh? 50 50%? 50 50? Are you 50 half and half off? Tell us about how you're half and half. Ah, <laughs> oh, well. Dalt, is it true that you really want to go to Vegas? Is this true? Yes, this is true. Really? Yes. <gasps> it's my life's ambition. Really? Goodness gracious. Well, Dalt, do you think you'll like pack up the whole troop and go? You know, I, the whole I, think, that we, I think we should take everyone. I think we should like audience just lift the Vegas. audience out and like just plop them right down there in Vegas. Vegas could use them. That's right. They've never seen the lights of us, right? So we go like true. we go down the streets in the daytime and then at night we come in and ching ching and, and yeah, right. Yay. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, doll. Can Karen come on for a minute? Yes, I want little Karen to come on. Come on, Karen. Just one minute. Just a one minute spot. <laughs> On the lap, my no, doll. On the lap is right. <laughs> so, doll, this is a celebrity to be talking about celebrities to be. In ten years, the god will be talking about her. Ten years. Ten oh, I'm years. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Next year, my next dear. Year, the girl is on her way. That's right. And the doll is opening at the BZ, right? Yes. That's right. Yes. <laughs> October 27 through the 30th. <laughs> really? Good week. Week. Yeah. Halloween week. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, um, how did you first meet uh, the God? God? Well, actually, I first met the God on my birthday over the telephone. He was at my mother's house <laughs> with, my brother, with my brother Craig and my and mother my Maxine and your sister Lynn. And it was my birthday, and they called me up and sang happy birthday to me over the phone, along with a few other songs. It was so incredible. But I saw Peter at the Troubadour in California. And I died. I screamed. I told Susan Holtz, I said, introduce me to him. <laughs> and she wouldn't have but she. <laughs> no, but I saw him and I knew he was going to be, he was so fabulous then. This I is just quite a while ago. Years and years ago. Yes. A long way yes. In a long time. <laughs> so I hear that they are recording this album live here. Is there a little truck outside? Yeah, there's a little truck outside recording. Oh, God, this is going to be fabulous. When did not reveal this to the audience. <laughs> well, uh, yes, <laughs> we won't tell. Um, do you think that the album will be out before Christmas? <laughs> Are they I don't that know. fast these days? I don't know how fast they are. Oh, doll. Really? Well, that would be one in every stocking. <laughs> <laughs> He's bo in both my stockings, that's for sure. <laughs> um, darling, okay, okay. I love you both. Mm. This is Thank so you, wonderful. Honey. I have to go <laughs> off into the audience. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Um, doll, uh, <laughs> okay, well, listen, we must get together again well, at lovely. another point in your career. Lunch okay? Thursday. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be great. Okay, doll. Okay, bye bye. Thanks for talking to us. Bye. Bye. Come on and ask some questions. Okay, here. um, Scooter, how did you first meet the god Peter Allen? Well, I cruise Reno Sweeney's flight. 
three or four times, and the crowds were just so monstrous. He was body to body, packed in. I couldn't get anywhere near him. So I saw a little tip in the paper that the guy was going to be at Alexander's. And I signed records, and I went on my lunch hour. I was still a schoolgirl at this time. <laughs> Pigtails and all, and I took my black boyfriend, the butler, and we went up to, uh, we went up to Alexander's. Mm. Mm, delicious. Mm. Good, good. good for the eyesight, you know good. that? Um, so we went up to Alexander's and I said, Yay, what is all these crap? These people, wow, let me through. And I went up and I started mm, smooching with the god on the table. Do you remember that? And um, that was the start, right? And then I said, Karen, was there? Bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Everyone was there. You had your ears on? No, so the wig. The beetle wig. The beetle wig. The beetle oh, wig. Right. <laughs> well, um, that was like, and then I was bringing that night 25 people to Reno Sweeney's. We brought the whole school down. And that was the start. And then the God finally realized that I was definitely the one, number one fan. So I said, hey, the God should have a fan club here. So I proceeded to get names all across the country. And, you know, now I send out all the info and everything every time the God's appearing somewhere. Oh, look at all the sweet people coming in. Um, and that's basically the story, doll. And you are a treasurer, I believe, of the fan club? Certainly. Certainly. I'll take care of those bucks any old time. <laughs> really, doll? Well, you, how many bucks do you think um, we can get in, like, you know, to make a fund for the God in his old, well, old age? I would, gi I would give anything. I would give, I would I would give, give anything me to too. this guy. Me what too. a guy. That's right. He is what, like um, the, oh, what a guy. What a guy is right. He is the God. He is. The God. He's the wonderful. God. Um, oh, my goodness. Oh, dear. Well, here we go. Got the banana? Yeah. Let me ask you another thing. Yes, sir. Um, what are some of your, uh, your favorite songs by Peter? Well, from the first album, I like um, Somebody Beautiful, Just Undid Me. It's a good one. Yes, it's not good. We've sung that many times, haven't we? We. we. And um, the second album, I like uh, More Than I Like You, and of course, Tend to Feel Sadler. Third album, all of them. I like every song, but you know, there's ones that are, are repetitive and we can like, you know, really get into it time and time again. No, I mean, no, I mean the set, you know, like you can play them time oh, and right, time right. again. That's, that's and, and like, you know, important. you can just, like I say, his, his songs should be like the Bible, one in every home. But they are. They should be translated like into every language, mm -hmm. sent to every country. And uh, that's it. People wouldn't have to go to psychiatrists or anything to put on the old record. Did you know that the uh, God knows uh, I honestly love you in Japanese? <gasps> Yes, I do know that. He started to sing it in the middle of, of, of the Reno English Sweeney. for Ryan. I said, One do you know what I can I can <laughs> also, 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 also. You know, it's Japanese is so pretty. It's nothing like Chinese. Gosh, remember when we were in the Chinese restaurant? Oh, my God. They are time. so rude, doesn't it? Chinese they restaurant. So cool. They hate us. They hate us. They hate us. <laughs> they hate us. <laughs> they say, oh, I, I know. All they want is wonton soup and uh, fried dumplings. And chicken they curry, know. which I learned to eat like, from the I, God, right from his loving hands, right? I made him, I made him give me black bean sauce for my clients. They only wanted to give me garlic sauce. I said, I gotta have black bean sauce. I like that's all right. That's right. Somebody I don't said know. that. Somebody. I, I, I believe. I like is. the quote that the, that some, the God said, "If you put me in front of an audience of deaf mutes, I could still entertain them." Yay! Yay! Right. He is right. He is right. He is right. He's right. so wonderful, folks. Ah, <laughs> uh, I've been doing some research, doll. <laughs> I think I think that uh, Peter the God should be in film, don't you? Have his own TV show. White Murph Griffin all them right off. Oh, he that. would. Oh, he would be a fabulous interviewer. And he has Tony such a and, sense of humor. Tony and Tony Folks, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, they should. I mean, what are these people doing having shows? I mean, the God should be up there across every network, every local station, everything. He should be on every hour of the day, so you can just tune that dial and get him anytime you want. Right, Tom? Right, get all. Get all right, cha cha cha, cha cha cha. I was thinking that the God should uh, go into uh, dramatic acting. <laughs> I'm serious. Ooh, then I can go I'm to serious. the movie theater all day too. I'll have to bring the television to the movie theater, so I won't. So I'll make sure I get well, it like, <laughs> on the TV, or I can get my new Betamax and record it like off the TV, and then you know when I get home, mm -hmm. I say, I wish I was up 24 hours today, 24 hours a day, so I could you know, like could watch the get God. the God's input all the time. Me too. I was thinking, I was thinking you could play uh, someone's life story, perhaps. Himself. Oh, himself. He has such an interesting life. We, God, we, we, as they say in France. We, we, or I was thinking Scott Fitzgerald. 
something like that. I was, he would be fabulous. He would want him to be fabulous. Without Zelda, I'm Without Zelda. Zelda. We'll I'll have to change the, her. I'll play the part. Make her a little nut nuts. <laughs> no, I'll play the part of the, the, the Zelda part. He could, he could also, he, he's such a funny man. Oh, what a okay. funny man. What a funny man. <laughs> he he is. Just so wonderful, like putty in my hand. The banana. Oh the my banana. goodness.